Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. So I wanted to do a little bit of an update with this uh, Greenworks chainsaw and it's less about the chainsaw itself and more about the batteries. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this is, you know, I've owned this chainsaw for a very long time. I've used Greenworks products for a very long time. And there tends to be a pretty common misconception within, I guess, maybe the anti-electrification group, I don't know, or just maybe misinformation that flows around a lot. Uh, but it go, it's, it's really primarily about battery life. And the thing about lithium batteries is they don't just die, right? They slowly fade away, uh, but their usable life tends to be very, very long. And I just kind of wanted to demonstrate this because I realized that one of my... Uh, two amp hour 80 volt batteries for this chainsaw is actually going on eight years old. So if you look at the actual serial number on it, it has the date and it was April 1st, 2015. That's when this battery was first put together by Greenworks. I haven't adjusted it at all. I filled it up, it's totally full. It should be roughly room temperature for, for inside the house uh, for where it was plugged in. Um, and so what I wanted to do is just kind of give it a little go and see how long uh, this uh, two amp hour, eight year old lithium ion battery that's been you know charged to full will go. So uh, just a couple of uh, level setting. One, uh, I'm processing wood that I got from the forest. Uh, this is downed timber from some of our recent fires. Forestry, for the most part, cut it to length. This round is about 12 inches in diameter. I thought that's a pretty good uh, size chunk. Part of it is I'm lazy when splitting, and uh, I want to cut these chunks only about 4 to 6 inches so that they're easier to split and manage. Uh, so I'm going to be making a lot of cuts. This is about a 50-inch piece. So hopefully... You know, I can get a, a good 12 cuts out of it maybe, uh, I'm not sure, and, and maybe the battery will last uh, too. But also, something about this chainsaw is, one, I really like the Pro Chainsaw for Greenworks because it does have that uh, metal bumper, uh, grip bumper on the front, and then of course, I actually replaced this chain. It's, it's used, right, so it's not as sharp as it would be straight out of the box or freshly sharpened. But it is an Oregon chain, and one of the reasons I went with the Oregon chain is the Greenworks replacements that I was able to get, even the stock part. Uh, th they had transitioned from the chain that I first got when I got this chainsaw, which was a standard chainsaw chain, to uh, what they call a skip chain. So it actually skips every other cutting blade. Well, this Oregon blade actually has the full cutting blade. Now, what that does is it, it makes faster cuts but less efficient cuts. So you'll use more battery with this. This takes a lot more energy to use, um, but you cut faster. And to me, that's that's a great trade-off. Also, in terms of these, these uh, a, a two amp hour batteries, these are the ones that I'll typically use either when I'm up processing wood out in the forest uh, or bucking because these are just lighter. It's really easy to handle. I have like four and five amp hour batteries that will literally last twice as long as this. Uh, so if you're fine with the weight and you're doing a lot of cutting, um, you know, then that maybe that's a better option for you. Uh, and sometimes I'll do that when I'm doing stationary cutting like this at home where transporting the extra weight around doesn't, you know, matter as much. And then of course also, I guess I should say just to make sure this is an 18 inch bar uh, about the right standard bar size in my opinion I don't know that I would go up to a 20 and I think 16 is too short I mean as you can see just cutting through this there's not going to be a whole lot of chainsaw left to, left coming out the other side on a 12 inch round that gets a little bit bigger as we go down uh, but as it, as it is I'm, I'm probably just going to speed this cycle up uh, record it as I go through to, to see how many of these that I can cut through, uh, and then if I get through this whole piece, I might load up another maybe 10 inch round. I don't know um, what I have just laying around here to cut and just keep going if it can go. Like I said, I also have my newer uh, 2021 built two amp hour battery that I can always use, uh, but um, just trying to get some 
cutting done before more rains come. So uh, let's see how well this uh, this eight year old battery does. We don't we don't need those youngsters. Steve, Steve, Steve. So as you can see, uh, batteries, well, not completely dead, but pretty close. Actually, I'm kind of curious now. I pulled it out and reset it. I think the chainsaw actually, I mean, it will still work a little bit. Um, I'm not going to push it all the way to dead, though. I could have probably restarted it and finished this last cut. But as it is, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and almost made the seventh cut pretty pretty close to completed actually um, all the way through the wood so not necessarily great uh, like I said I have a newer 4 amp hour battery that's probably double the capacity because it's a similar age and then this new uh, 2 amp hour battery which should be you know a decent amount more capacity but as you can see you can still get a reasonable amount of work done. Now I did this sort of as a worst case scenario. Uh, 12 inches is a uh, pretty thick timber for this chainsaw to go through. Um, and if you're cutting, you know, 16 inch pieces, right, you know, by the time you split everything else, I'm not uh, a firewood expert, but you, you figure it out, 12, 12 inch rounds by 16 inch length you could probably cut a close to maybe a quarter cord with something like this so uh, just in terms of cutting the rounds like I said I'm doing this more to check the number of slices but again this is an eight-year-old battery so uh, if all you're doing is light duty work you're gonna probably breeze through it pretty quick pretty easily um, but even if you're doing this heavier work the battery is still working after eight years. It's not like you just throw it away. And I, I guess maybe that's the point that I should make is um, I'm not trying to throw out worst case scenarios when I do the tests that I do. This is just a sort of a realistic test of, hey, look, this battery still functions seven, you know, almost, we'll count it, almost seven good clean cuts through a 12 inch round. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I would expect for what's become my backup battery now. Like I said, after eight years, I'll probably finish this up with the uh, the newer two amp hour battery uh, and get to chopping. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was useful. I hope it was something that, you know, maybe you can keep in mind that these batteries can be rebuilt as it is. They can be recycled, um, but they still have a very long life. Uh, especially when you're using them for like hand tools, things like that, you can still get a good, you know, few minutes of really heavy, intense work out of them, uh, even, even as they're approaching eight years old. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it was useful um, and informative. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and uh, <sighs> enough procrastinating. Let's get to work.